Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave, and I've got a new project in today. It's a T4 Crawler International Dozer. Uh, it's got some engine issues uh, through a rod. Didn't damage the block, I don't think, so it uh, would be repairable. The engine would be repairable. Uh, but I've got a couple of engines back in the shed that should fit right in and do the trick. Dozers aren't something I generally work with. Uh, we for the most part don't have the equipment to deal with all the heavy parts and stuff but in this case it's this kinda like a Tonka toy dozer so uh, we should be okay with this one and it should make for an interesting project uh, show you a little bit about what we got going on here and uh, then I'll get started as you can see it's already a good ways of the way apart uh, the previous owner Took a bunch of stuff off so we could get in to see what was going on. Blades off, grill and the uh, belly pan underneath and so on. Hood and whatnot. Um, we'll have to take out the pump drive shaft and that front casting here comes off uh, out of the rails and then the engine just unbolts with four bolts at the bell housing in there and uh, so from there we should be able to see what's going on so I'll get the camera set up and we'll start getting bits and pieces off here to get a motor out This would be just about where I discovered that I was being a little bit optimistic about how easily the engine would come out. There are two bolts in through the bell housing, in through the clutch housing, that come into the back of the motor. To get to them, you could take out the jack shaft or drive shaft between the clutch housing and the transmission. Then the clutch housing or the clutch shaft and clutch shaft housing come back into the clutch housing. And then you unbolt the clutch and, and pressure plate and then finally you drop the flywheel down out and then you can get to those two bolts and all of that has to take place I was in underneath the dozer there was no room to take the camera underneath and and show what was going on so I figured I'd explain to you what had to happen to get the engine out so anyway we'll carry on with the process now Okay, there's been a little change in plans. Uh, I don't have an engine that matches up to this one. They're older style, and for the hydraulic pump drive, it takes a particular pulley, and that pulley off of this engine wouldn't work on them. So we're gonna have to rebuild this engine. Uh, it is all ready to come out now. Three bolts and the engine will basically fall off the tractor. So we'll lift it out of here and get it set in our engine stand. We have our engine in our engine stand, so now it's time to start pulling it down and see what all we need to get this thing back to running.
pull it like this. You don't just crank on it until something breaks loose, because usually that'll break something loose that you don't want. It'll break off the bolts in the pulley or strip the threads. So you tighten it up so there's quite a bit of tension on it. And the end of the puller is meant to be hammered on like that. And the shock should break loose the pulley. So we got a crankshaft out, and this one here is the worst journal. Uh, hard to see on the camera, but let's see if I can. Yeah, right in there. Those are some pretty heavy marks in there. I'm not sure. I don't think the thirty thousandths will polish turn that out, and. Uh, that's how big that you can get bearings, it's 30 thou oversize. That journal's pretty scratched up. That journal's pretty scratched up. That one's not terrible, but certainly need turned. The mains aren't bad, but I mean they would need turned. I mean, there's absolutely no point of putting bearings on that crank. But Buddy went and put new bearings in there, and uh, it was a waste of time and effort. Because the crank didn't get turned. But anyway, uh, we'll take that crank out to the engine rebuilders and see what they can do with it for us. Well, we've got our engine all apart, uh, ready to start on the repair side of things now. So I think we'll call that end of part one. Uh, just waiting on what the story is on the crank, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go looking for another one. But uh, so in the next part, we'll start putting things back together, hopefully, fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you'll stick around to see what's going on in part two. Uh, Please like and subscribe to my channel and please share with your friends and as always, have a great day.